Hi, this is Mr. Minnick. I'm helping my student, my Visual Basic students learn how to download a project that's zipped so that they can uh, use it as a starting point for uh, their work on a project. So here we are at uh, my website and uh, I'm going to scroll down here to Unit 4 where there's this maze assignment. Um, I do this with many assignments, um, store, drawing, and uh, this maze one are all examples of how you can uh, uh, use this technique to get uh, a quick start on a project. Anyway, let's go to the Maze 1 specs. And right here it is. Click this link to download something. So go ahead and do that. Click that. Your browser, whether you're using Internet Explorer, Chrome, or Firefox, prompts you to save the thing that you just clicked on. So I'm going to click Save. And nine times out of ten, your browser puts whatever it is that you just clicked on it puts a copy of that file in your downloads folder. So I, I'm, I prefer to click on this open folder link, but really all that's doing is opening up a window where you can see everything that's in your downloads. So what we just did there is we clicked that link and it caused a file to be uh, placed in your downloads folder. Now our job is to uncompress also known as unzipping this zip file. Notice the little zipper there. That means that it's a .zip file. There's a .zip here as a file extension. We just don't see it. So I'm going to uh, right click on it. On a Windows computer, that's what you can do. You can right click and go to the menu command extract all. When you click extract all, it offers to unzip the zip file and put it into a folder and I'm going to uh, go ahead and, and click extract. Okay, it did that and it, and it popped up an extra window. So I'm going to close this extra window that popped up and I'm, I'm going to go back to my downloads folder here and look to see what I have. Okay, I have the original zip file which I no longer need so I'm going to right click on it and delete it. And here's what I really have. I have a folder called maze. Now let's take a look inside there. Oh, there's another folder called maze, and within there is the icon that you would normally double click to open up a Visual Studio project. So I really have two folders called maze. On some computers, at least this Windows computer that I'm sitting at, this is, uh, it, it sometimes makes a, an extra folder. So I don't really need that outer folder the one that has a lowercase m. So I'm, I'm going to go inside of the, the folder called the lowercase m, and this folder with a capital M is the one that I need to copy. In fact, I'm going to do a cut. Instead of a copy, I'm just going to do a cut. That way, it's about to disappear here from my downloads folder. And where do I want to put it? because I don't recommend that you keep things permanently in your downloads folder. It's just meant to be a temporary place for things. So instead, we're going to go to your documents over here on the left, documents. And all of you on your laptop computers should have a folder called Visual Studio 2010. That's where uh, all of our projects are from this uh, school year. So go in there, double click. And within there, uh, we automatically save projects into the folder called projects, so double click that. And this is uh, stuff that should look familiar. In here is everything that you've saved so far this school year. Uh, all the projects that you created from scratch, new projects, should be located here. Well, in this case, we just downloaded something that Mr. Minnick started, and um, we're getting something for free. So I'm going to right click somewhere in the white area down below, and I'm going to click paste. And voila, there it is. Uh, I have a folder called Maze, right in with all my other projects. And uh, before I open it up and start working with it, I'm going to go back to Downloads. And there is still an empty folder called Maze with a lowercase m. I'm going to delete that just to clean house a little bit. I don't like to, to leave things uh, in my Downloads folder. I like to clear it out. OK, so there's nothing uh, remaining there. I'm going to go back to Documents, Visual Studio 2010, Projects, and here's Maze. Uh, if you double click it, you can open up the project now by clicking this little icon with the 10. 
and uh, this window might come up. You just click OK. When you open up a project, uh, it may show you uh, the forms, the source code, but it may also come up like this. You would just double click form1.dv over here to the right, and that would show you the interface. Of course, you can see the code by clicking this little icon. And uh, you're welcome. This is a starting point for uh, the Maze project. It'll be your job to work with this menu command. Hey, notice, Form 1 is right there. Uh, you should delete that uh, if it's already there. And put something interesting in. Anyway, uh, that is a, a wrap on this video showing you how to download a zipped project folder and to unzip it and open it up so that you can start working with it.